Hi. Now in this question, we're given that P equals E to the power 280 and Q equals E to the power 300. And in part one, we've got to use logarithm properties to show that the natural log of E times P squared, all divided by Q, is equal to 261. And in the second part, find the smallest integer n which satisfies the inequality 5 to the power n is greater than p times q, pq. Okay, so if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, do pause the video, come back when ready, and we'll go through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So for part one, see how we do it. Well, let's just take our expression here, the natural log of e p squared divided by q. Okay, now we've got to show that it equals 261. So let's just break it down first of all. It says use logarithm properties. Well, we should know that this is exactly the same if we just look at the top as the natural log of e plus the natural log of p squared. Adding two logarithms together is the same as doing the natural log of e times p squared in this particular example. And then because we're dividing by q, this is the same as subtracting the natural log of q. Okay, well we know that the natural log of e, well that should be 1, okay? A standard result. And then we've got the natural log of p squared. Well we can take the 2 out the front. Remember that's the power rule for logs, okay? So that's 2 times the natural log of p. And then we've got minus the natural log of q. So what is the natural log of p? And what's the natural log of q? Well, we're given these results up here, and from these results it follows that if we were to take natural logs to both sides of this equation, we'd have the natural log of p equals just simply 280. Okay, so let's just call that equation 1. And if we look at this one here and do much the same thing, take natural logs to both sides, you have the natural log of q equals 300. So I'll call that equation 2. And we can use these results, 1 and 2, substitute 280 and 300 into here. So we get 1 plus 2 times the natural log of p, which is 280 minus the natural log of q, which is 300. And if you work that out, you end up with 261. So I'll just put here that we got our results here from 1 and 2. OK? So there's part 1. Now we'll move on to part 2 where we've got to find the smallest integer n which satisfies the inequality 5 to the power n is greater than pq. Well, let's just put that down first of all that we're given that 5 to the power n is greater than pq. Now to do this I'm going to take natural logs to both sides so therefore we have the natural log of 5 to the power n would be greater than the natural log of pq. And what I can do next, if we just come down here, is use the power rule for, that, for, for logs. It doesn't matter whether it's natural logs or logs. We can bring the n out the front. In fact, we just squeeze it. Well, we'll go up here, I think. Yeah, plenty of room. So we'll have n times the natural log of 5 is greater than the natural log of, in this case, we'll use the multiplication rule here, which is the same as the natural log of p plus the natural log of q. And again, we can substitute from 1 and 2 above 
the values for the natural log of p and the natural log of q. So if we do that, we've got n times the natural log of 5 is greater than the natural log of p, that's 280, plus, and for the natural log of q, it's 300. Adding those two together, and then we can divide by the natural log of 5. And remember, when you divide by logs, whether it's natural logs or logs in any other base, always be careful if your number here is less than 1, you're going to get a negative value and you have to reverse the inequality. But the natural log of 5, 5 is greater than 1, so the natural log of 5 is going to be positive. So dividing by the natural log of 5 is not going to change that inequality round. So we've got 580 then divided by the natural log of 5. And if you use your calculator to do that sum, you should find that n has to be greater than, than 360.374 and so on. Now, we're told that n is an integer and we're asked to find the smallest integer value then for n. So the smallest integer value for n, just write that as an intro there, has got to be equal to, well, we're looking for the first integer that is greater than that value and it's got to be 361. Okay.